Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about one of my favorite topics, high-dose vitamin C. You know, vitamin C is the most commonly supplemented uh, vitamin in the world. But most people only take maybe 250 milligrams, maybe 500, not enough to receive the full benefits of vitamin C. On today's program, we'd like to talk about that. And how do you take more? Is it safe? Is it really effective? We will answer those questions. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Almost half of all the cardiovascular disease-related deaths in Europe are the result of poor nutrition. Researchers from Martin Luther University in Germany and the University of Washington in the U.S. evaluated health parameters of 51 European countries. They used data collected from the Global Burden of Disease study over a 26-year period. They found about 45% of all European cardiovascular disease-related deaths were the result of poor nutrition. The researchers also found the underconsumption of whole grains, nuts, seeds, and vegetables, along with the overconsumption of salt, were the most common causes of preventable deaths. The study was published by the European Journal of Epidemiology. Related research published by The Lancet finds eating 25 to 30 grams of dietary fiber daily reduces all-cause mortality, including cardiovascular disease death, by 30%. The study used data from 243 studies conducted over 40 years. That's quite a study, isn't it? And finally, from the University of Minnesota, the Journal of JCI Insights, researchers find supplementing magnesium is an effective treatment for diabetic diastolic heart failure, a life-threatening condition with no specific medical treatments. Well, folks, here we have overwhelming evidence that our poor dietary habits are causing untold and needless suffering and death worldwide. Our first study finds in Europe the avoidance of whole foods such as whole grains, nuts, seeds, along with fruits and vegetables, and the overconsumption of salt is responsible for about 45% of all cardiovascular disease deaths in the 51 countries evaluated. It is widely accepted by nutritionists that the typical European eats a healthier diet than the typical American, so I think we can assume here in the U.S. our death rates would be even higher. Also, we learned the simple addition of more dietary fiber could reduce our cardiovascular disease death rate by about 30% just by eating more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. And from Minnesota, we learned supplementing magnesium is an effective treatment for diabetes-related diastolic heart failure. One of the key nutrients found in great abundance in whole foods and conspicuously absent from refined and processed foods is magnesium. Now, we are very fortunate here at Your Health because Dr. Steven Sinatra is one of our very best friends, and he's been telling us of the miracle of magnesium in the treatment of heart disease for many years now, so this is not news to us, but to the rest of the world. Magnesium and heart failure is big news. Now, the real point of all this is the simple fact that your health is in your hands and nobody else's. Life expectancy is declining for Americans, and the decline is because of reduced lifespans among Generation X and Y Americans. Researchers from Duke University reviewed the health statistics from the Center for Disease Controls for the years 1990 to 2016. They found life expectancy is declining for those born from 1973 to 1980, the so-called Generation X, and it is also declining for those born from 1981 to 1991, the so-called Generation Y. Epidemiologists state this is the first time in peacetime history that life expectancy is declining. The study was published by the International Journal of Epidemiology. <clears throat> Folks, this is truly a sad turn of events for those born from 1973 to 1991 or those who are currently from 27 to 45 years of age, they can expect on average a shorter lifespan than their parents. The difference in life expectancy compared to their parents is slight, just a few months on average, but the difference is uh, it's significant. Plus the trend reverses a very long established pattern of increased lifespan with each successive generation. The big question is, of course, just what could be causing our shrinking lifespan? Our study from Duke University also answered this question. The lifespans of our generation X and Ys are decreasing for the following reasons. First and foremost is drug overdoses. 
and drug overdoses from prescription narcotics are far and away the leading cause of our declining lifespans. But there are other causes as well. They include, and in no particular order, increases in traffic accidents, possibly from cell phones. Point in fact, states that have banned cell phone use while driving are seeing a 10% decrease in motorcycle fatalities. This study did not say it, but it is possible cell phone use while driving is playing a role in decreasing life expectancy. Other reasons include increases in adult onset diabetes and obesity and suicides. Could it be our poor sleep habits could be playing a role here? Others include COPD or emphysema, HIV-related diseases, alcohol-related deaths, and a spike in cancers. What these causes of death all have in common is the majority, not all, but the majority for sure, are preventable with knowledge and by engaging in healthy lifestyle practices. But if we depend solely on media and the established American system of health care delivery, we too may fall prey to early death. That is the purpose of this program to help you learn more about healthy living and achieving a state of wellness, not just the treatment of disease, but to attain and maintain vibrant health. Well, today on Your Health, we will discuss one of the most remarkable tools in attaining good health and preventing disease, and it's something available to almost everyone, high-dose vitamin C. Stay tuned to learn more. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker, and this is Your Health at a Glance. The next time you're buying meat, look for low-fat, uncured, unprocessed meat in its natural state. Why? A low-fat, natural meat diet could be the healthiest of all. Research from Harvard University compared processed meat diets with natural meat diets. The extensive study involved more than a million people in 10 countries. The scientists discovered a diet of processed meat that contains preservatives and nitrate curing agents such as bacon, sausage, and deli meats increased the risk of heart disease by 42% and diabetes by 19%. They also found natural meats free of these curing and preserving agents did not raise the risk of heart disease or diabetes at all. So shop for lean uncured meats free of additives and in their natural state. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's Bionutrients multiple vitamin and mineral powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the organic green blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the berry blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to be with you today. I hope everything is wonderful wherever you are. In today's show, we're going to learn so much. We're going to learn about vitamin C. You can take more than you think you can, and the health benefits are just 
endless. So Richard, this topic I've really been waiting for for a while. I love this one. It is interesting, isn't it? It is. I think we should start our discussion of vitamin C with acknowledging the elephant in the room, and that's the controversy surrounding vitamin C. I don't think there's much controversy among people who use vitamin C. They realize its benefits. It's the established medical community who says vitamin C is only good for preventing scurvy. You know, there's some vitamins, it won't help the cold, it won't help cancer, it won't help your autoimmune disease, don't even bother. 500, we did the study, 500 milligrams of vitamin C doesn't do anything more and prevent scurvy. Well, that's too low a dose to do what you're thinking it could do. You need much higher doses to help with uh, MS. You need much higher doses to help with cancer. Now, you'll prevent scurvy. Everyone agrees, even low doses of vitamin C prevent scurvy. One, two, three studies, a, a lifetime of experience confirms that with everybody. But yet we have thousands, hundreds of thousands of scientific writings discussing vitamin C. Can it cure the cold? Does it cure cancer? Does it cure polio, autoimmune diseases? Learning more about these studies, and particularly the negative studies that say vitamin C doesn't do anything but make expensive urine. You've heard that before, haven't you? Most of these studies used too low, too low of a dose and they gave the dosages for too short a time to have any principal change. Vitamin C is not a drug. It can be used like a drug at high doses. It can have that effect. But it is a nutrient that has very specific actions. This takes time. If you break your leg, one dose of an anti-inflammatory does not heal that leg, does it? It takes time for nature to take its course. Are you getting enough? Millions of vitamin C users attest to its many benefits. Are you getting enough? Is that 250 in your multiple? Is that enough? It's not. It will prevent scurvy, yes, but there is more. Vitamin C is perhaps the most widely recognized and studied vitamin. It is uh, certainly the most commonly used worldwide. Even ancient humans recognized it's necessary to have raw foods in order to maintain health. A fruit, a vegetable, it doesn't take much. Even raw meat provides vitamin C. I don't recommend you do that, but there's enough vitamin C in the tissue level of animals. If you eat it raw, it will prevent scurvy. Now maybe in a survival setting you would do that, but I wouldn't do that due to the chance of uh, transmission of parasites and such. But we must have some raw foods and even the ancients recognized that. Today, the dietary factor that prevents scurvy is well known. It is ascorbic acid or vitamin C. We'll, we'll use that interchangeably. They're essentially the same. There's subtle difference, but it's the same molecule. One's dry and one is in solution. That's the only difference. And it is supplemented by more people than any other single vitamin. It is the second most researched essential nutrient. If we go to PubMed.gov, this is our government's uh, scientific website where uh, government-funded research is all listed there. If you just search vitamin C, you'll see 62,000 studies, over 1,000 double-blind studies, many, many scientific writings. It's ubiquitous in scientific writings, ascorbic acid. If you go to Google Scholar, there are millions of articles that at least mention vitamin C. It has the most long-term knowledge of any vitamin C, of any nutrient, going all the way back to the ancient mariners and ancient civilizations. They didn't know it was vitamin C, but they knew we need fruits, vegetables, raw foods in our diet in order to keep our teeth, <laughs> to keep our wounds together and our scars healed up good, good, strong and tight. This is all necessary. These are all functions of vitamin C. We all agree vitamin C prevents scurvy, but you may not realize vitamin C is also a cofactor for at least eight, at least eight, maybe more, essential enzymatic reactions. One of the functions besides these eight is collagen formation. That's your scurvy connection. Low intakes at levels of as little as five milligrams to 60 milligrams, depending on the person, Five milligrams, which is a speck of dust of vitamin C, will prevent scurvy. But it is not enough to provide vitamin C for those eight other enzymes that do a wide variety of functions. 
Scurvy is the disease which results when vitamin C intake is very low, that 5 to 60 milligrams. Henceforth, they call scurvy the index disease of vitamin C. It's called the index disease. You may see that if you want to read about vitamin C. That's the index disease. When collagen cannot be formed, this is scurvy. When it's not formed properly, the following symptoms occur. And you might be surprised. A recent study was done in a pediatric population in Canada. And they found as, much, as many as 5% of the admitted babies in, who are critically ill are actually scurvic. Can you believe that? We were, we've been assuming that, oh, maybe one in a million has scurvy. No, no. We're finding it's much more common. Here are the subtle symptoms of scurvy. Bleeding gums. When you brush your teeth, you get a little blood. That's really common, isn't it? You could be low in vitamin C. There could be easy bruising. Of course, with age, we all bruise easier. The skin becomes thinner. We're not really talking about that, or are we? Or are we? Vascular integrity, sign of scurvy. Internal hemorrhage, wound dehiscence. As, as scurvy proceeds, vitamin C deficiency proceeds, old wounds actually will split apart. Isn't that amazing? You may have had an operation 40 years ago, and if you become scurvic, that wound opens. That's a scary thought, isn't it? But this is the function, one of the many functions of vitamin C is to maintain the collagen, the scar tissue formation. If you don't have the C to do that, it may open up. Coiled hairs. You normally have straight hair and all of a sudden it starts being very curly, very unusual. Dry eyes, dry mouth, joint pain. How many of you are in joint pain? Maybe a little higher dose of vitamin C would help that. Fatigue, depression, even psychosis. Immune dysfunction leading to profound infections, not just a cold, but overwhelming sepsis, pneumonia, life-threatening infections. And of course, if vitamin C is not provided, death is certain to follow. We have a huge bank of vitamin C research confirms that vitamin C has a triple role in health. The first role is the scurvy prevention. We just discussed it. The second role is to modulate health-promoting enzymatic reactions. That's the eight other enzymes we talked about. And the third role is acting as a free radical scavenging antioxidant. It is the most powerful antioxidant we bring into our bodies on a routine basis. It is certainly the most powerful vitamin antioxidant. If the level of vitamin C is high enough to prevent scurvy, yet too low to provide these other eight enzymes with its various use or its antioxidant ca capability, if it's not optimal, we're going to have a problem. And we call these diseases of chronic insufficiency. Yes, it's not scurvy, but 40, 50, 60 years of a suboptimal diet, all of a sudden we have cancer. Diabetes, may all of these have been supported by good scientific research. When we are low in C over time, we're not having scurvy, but we are more susceptible to cancer, diabetes, coronary artery disease, stroke, autoimmune disease, arthritis, chronic spine pain syndromes, neurodegenerative diseases, dementia, acute infections such as cold. Millions of people take extra vitamin C at the first sign of a cold. You're going to have more colds if you're low in C. Flu along with chronic infections such as hepatitis, mononucleosis, premature e aging, and physical disability. All because we are a chronically low society in our vitamin C levels. To help us understand why chronic insufficiency intake of vitamin C leads to disease, Understand, besides the production of collagen, vitamin C has a long list of functions. And I don't have time to go through that whole list in this segment, so let's do this. Let's go to our break. When we return, let's talk about how the other functions of vitamin C in our body. It's really quite amazing what all it does. And if I do my job right, when we're through with this program today, you will be taking a little more vitamin C tomorrow because of this knowledge. We'll be right back with that list.
Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, discussing the benefits of supplementing with higher doses of vitamin C for your health. This is just amazing. So, Richard, let's carry on where we left yes, off before we were, the break. We were talking about the diseases of chronic insufficiency. Your vitamin C level is high enough to prevent scurvy, but not high enough and it's leaving you at risk for cancer and diabetes, stroke, neurodegenerative diseases, pretty much the profile of... Uh, it, the decline of health in America and worldwide. It's not just an American phenomenon. So our next topic on that subject is how does that happen? What are some of the things that vitamin C does for us that helps to prevent those terrible diseases we all want to avoid? Well, vitamin C, here's the first one, is involved in the production, the recycling of L-carnitine. L-carnitine is that special agent that shuttles fatty acids into the mitochondria inside the cell so they can be used to provide energy to the cell. And then when the cardiovascular system is low in carnitine, because we're low in vitamin C, it can't recycle uh, that carnitine properly, your heart and vascular tree does not have enough energy and you're more susceptible to heart disease, all because of vitamin C. Next, maintenance of vascular integrity. This involves uh, both the collagen, the scurvic factor, and others factors of vitamin C. And they've been able to prove in recent years, and this is e as old as 40 years ago, which this research has been pushed aside, they've been able to show that people develop regional vitamin C deficiencies only in a certain area of their body. So this leads to plaques in the arteries. And they've been able to show inside of that plaque, it's very low in vitamin C. Oh, you have enough in your finger, you have enough in your toe, but not in that artery. 
and that leads to heart disease. It leads to aneurysms, plaques, vascular disease, leading cause of death in America. Isn't that amazing? So taking higher levels systemically helps to raise those vascular lesions that could lead to heart attack and stroke and peripheral vascular disease, and it does it quite effectively. We've been able to prove that. Also, vitamin C is involved in the production of nitric oxide, which stabilizes endothelial function. That's the brain center of the artery. It doesn't work right without vitamin C. Your vascular tree is critically dependent on higher levels of vitamin C for good health. Helps to keep the blood pressure down. Vitamin C is involved in the modulation the control, just think of it as the control of iron absorption, the transportation of iron throughout the body, its storage, and thus affecting over 70 different genes that lead to good health or bad health, depending on your nutrient status. Vitamin C, basically what it does, this is a common question, it changes the valence of iron so it's easier to absorb. So people who have iron overload, too much iron, a genetically induced situation, or too many blood transfusions, there's reasons, but the most common is genetic, they have to limit their vitamin C. It's one of the exclusions we'll talk about in the future, but it's critically important in how we process iron in our bodies. Biosynthesis of corticosteroids, aldosterone, hence blood glucose and mineral control. In the human body, the, level, the, the organs with the highest vitamin C levels are the adrenal glands, and they make hormones for us, and they're critical in everything we do, and the eye. And think about the eye, radiation every day into the eye. The antioxidant level in the eye is very important in preventing cataracts, the two highest levels, adrenal glands, the eyeball. Cholest uh, vitamin C is also involved in the conversion of cholesterol into bile salts, our bile. Now, most people don't think about bile unless they're vomiting, right? You don't want to think about bile, but it does a lot of things for us. And these bile salts, as they're called, part of bile, they are involved in digestion and absorption of nutrients. They're involved in hormone regulation and function. They're involved in detoxification of pesticides, pollutants, contaminants, or normal metabolic byproducts that need to be eliminated. Bile does this for us. And cholesterol regulation and an intestinal healthy flora. If your bile is off, you're gonna have the yeast system syndrome and intestinal dysbiosis. Well, guess what? Vitamin C helps to regulate the bile flow keeps it healthy so it can do all these things. You didn't know that, did you? You just thought it was scurvy. Oh no, contrary to me, far more, far more to the function of vitamin C. Let's keep going. Prevention of the oxidation of cholesterol plaques. It's the oxidation of these arterial plaques that lead to the inflammation, the dislodging, creation of an emboli, blockage of the artery, coronary event. Vitamin C helps to prevent that at higher levels than what we need to prevent scurvy. The regulation of our epigenetic gene control. Are you turning on diseases of, uh, excuse me, are you turning on genes of disease or turning on genes of wellness? Vitamin C helps to turn on the genes of wellness and, and proper nutrition in general does that. The creation of glutathione, one of our master antioxidants, internal antioxidants, vitamin C helps to regenerate that. It's a remarkable thing, all these things. Modulation of the production of inflammatory substances such as prostaglandins, is your arthritis acting up? You might be able to calm it down with higher dose vitamin C. Prostaglandins lead to pain, inflammation, and swelling. Vitamin C helps to reduce that. Modulation and regeneration of vitamin E. The number one antioxidant in your skin naturally is vitamin E. It helps to prevent the visible signs of aging. Vitamin C helps to recharge E. Helps. I can't think of a single better anti-aging supplement than vitamin C. I can't think of one. If you know of one, you let me know. Detoxification of carcinogens and other toxic pollution such as heavy metals preservatives, all these contaminants in our environment. Vitamin C is involved in that. Production of peroxide, our natural peroxide that our white blood cells use to kill infectious disease agents and cancer cells. Vitamin C is involved in that. Did you, did you know this? It's amazing what vitamin C does. Um, oh, modulation of white blood cell production, immune function overall. It stabilizes the vascular tree in shock, septic shock. When you're overwhelmed with infection, 
you're prone to shock, right? Septic shock. Vitamin C high dose can reverse that. It's one of its early high dose uses. Regulates the body's response to low oxygen levels. Boy, we could talk for hours about that. Inhibition and replication of many viruses, many of them life-threatening, such as HIV and hepatitis C. Helps to inhibit their replication acts as an antioxidant, and when taken at higher levels, higher than what we need for scurvy, vitamin C counters free radicals generated by disease. Many of the symptoms of your disease are generated through these free radicals, and vitamin C could help that. These reactive oxygen species and toxic insults can all be abated with high-dose vitamin C. Isn't it amazing what God has done? Now, we have more when we return. Have you heard about the health-promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with Mayataki, Shiitake, Rishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. Bio Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back, everyone, discussing the health benefits of including a higher level of vitamin C in your nutritional plan. And to help you with that, we have a really, really great special today. We have the Bionutrients Vitamin C at buy one, get one free. Buy one bottle at the regular price, and you're going to get a second bottle free. So, Richard, you know, you need that second bottle free to take these higher levels. That's true. You know? That's true. Make it economical so you can really maximize the effect of vitamin right. C. Well, we've talked about vitamin C's role in preventing scurvy, the collagen formation. We've also talked about the eight other enzymes that the body depends on for good health. But there's a third role for vitamin C, and that is 
its action as an antioxidant and free radical scavenger. Understand that when disease strikes, it causes symptoms generated at least in part by the production of these free radicals. And when, when I say free radical, to avoid a lot of chemistry and physics, a free radical is a compound that is absent one electron. Electrons like to be together. Electrons have a negative charge, and they like to orbit opposite each other, but there's two of them together in that level on the molecule. It gets complicated, but it, not really. It likes to be two. If it's absent one, it will seek out that electron, and it will take it from your DNA. It'll take it from your cell membrane. It'll take it from the, um, the lens in your eye. And now the lens in your eye is a free radical, and it's absent an electron. You can interrupt that hot potato exercise with vitamin C because it has two big, beautiful, loosely attached electrons just waiting to be donated. It's such an effective antioxidant, once that loose electron is donated, it has one more, it'll even give that. It'll give that selfishly. And since vitamin C is basically glucose folded over on itself, it is no longer a free radical or anything. The body just uses it up and it's done. It's a beautiful plan and it works wonderfully. And when you take high levels of vitamin C, you have all these electrons just waiting and willing to donate and participate in your wellness. What a brilliant idea. This doesn't happen by chance. This is genius how this all works out. So, symptoms of a high free radical load include pain, swelling, throbbing, fatigue, insomnia, burning, itching, aching, and more. Those are the acute, and over time, it's early aging. Chronic degenerative diseases. And, you know, we've kind of mastered, not completely, infectious disease. I don't want to say we've mastered it. I, that's not appropriate. But we're much better at the crisis management than managing these chronic diseases. This is where vitamin C comes in and is an all-star hitter. I'm telling you, this is where vitamin C can really help you. By taking larger amounts of vitamin C, symptoms of a cold, pneumonia, and these other disease can be ameliorated and even prevented to a large degree. I mean, we can't prevent all, everything. We can't do that. We haven't mastered that yet, but we can make a lot of things better. Now, one of the best arguments that we should be taking more vitamin C is the fact that most animals make their own vitamin C. There's just a few of us, primates like the great gorilla, the chimpanzee, human beings, the guinea pig. Uh, there are a couple, but there are not many animals that don't make their own vitamin C, must have it in their diet. So if we look at animals that do make their own vitamin C and figure out how much vitamin C they make, it may give us an indication of how much we should take. It's kind of interesting to think that way, isn't it? A 70 kilogram goat, that's about a 155 pound goat, a good large goat, makes 13 grams of vitamin C a day when they are healthy. 155 pounds, a lot of people weigh that. If we were the goat, if this applies to humans, we should be taking 13 grams a day. But wait, there's more. When that goat is stressed, it could be emotional stress. It, it could be, say there's a predator outside the corral wanting to come in. That's a stressed goat. If a goat is exposed to infection, that goat may make up to 50, 60, 70 grams or more a day to meet its needs. Boy, that's compelling evidence, isn't it? We need to make more. Is it possible that we may need more than five milligrams of vitamin C a day for optimal health? Is it possible? You bet it is. You know it is. For a human to match what a goat makes on a normal day without stress, if we ever have those days, you would have to eat 86 oranges a day <laughs> to meet that 13 gram need. If when stressed, Say you come down with pneumonia, you would have to eat 333 oranges in that day, every day to meet that vitamin C need. That is not going to happen. The only way to attain this is by supplementing vitamin C. It's the only way. Now you can drink more orange juice, and I want you to drink orange juice when you, as your routine, and if you catch a cold, that's a good idea. I have no problem with that, but you can't eat that much orange. You just can't do it. Due to the fact that vitamin C is water-soluble, and not stored along with the fact that it has a very short half-life in our bodies, it is removed quickly from our bodies. So it has to constantly be replaced. And remember, you have regional deficiencies. You may have a normal blood level, but your heart is low in it. 
This is well documented. We must begin dosing vitamin C every two to three hours as soon as know, as you know you're becoming sick. This is how we take the higher doses. Take a gram every two to three hours at the first sign of the cold. Increase your level. To take full advantage of vitamin C's health promoting properties, it may require doses of 15 grams a day, 20 grams, or even 50, divided in four or five doses. Now, most of us do not need to take 50 grams orally every day. That's usually not necessary. And at 50 grams a day, you will cause intestinal gurgling and maybe even some loose stool and diarrhea. So for most of us, 10 to 12 grams a day is sufficient in our routine every day. So that could be three grams, four times a day, two grams, four times a day, 10, eight, 10, 12 grams a day to really meet your daily need of vitamin C. Now, well, let's go to our break, but I wanna give you a little of the history of higher dose vitamin C when we return. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love. That will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, talking about vitamin C. This is just amazing. And to help you get it, we have a great special. We have the Bionutrients Vitamin C Complex. Buy one, get one free. That's today only, so don't miss it. So, Richard, you have some more studies to go through. Yeah, you know, the history, uh, what led us to, to this point in time of uh, understanding the benefits of I dose C. It's kind of interesting to quickly go through that. Let's do it. It starts with the very first chapter of Genesis in the Bible. 
very first chapter of the first book in the Bible. I have given you every tree which has fruit and every green plant for food. Now, ancient man didn't know about vitamin C per se, but they knew that you need to eat green foods, fruits, vegetables, this type of thing. Early indication of it's important. Dr. Uh, James Lind was the British naval surgeon who figured out if we give our sailors limes every day, they don't get scurvy and they can finish their voyages. You know, it took the Admiralty 40 years to accept his findings. 40 years. Think of all those souls who could have benefited. Well, we still have the same problem today. We've known for 40 years that high-dose vitamin C has tremendous benefit, but the established medical community resists, resists, resists. Uh, Albert Schwint Gorgi won a Nobel Prize for first describing the molecule of vitamin C and how it worked. Synthetic production soon followed. There's been some brilliant physicians and scientists behind this. Linus Pauling, Abram Hoffer, Roger Williams, Frederick Clenier, Robert Cathcart, many others. I hate to mention names because there's so many who have stuck their neck on the line helping people with high-dose vitamin C. The use of vitamin C in high dose is called orthomolecular medicine, and if you want to learn more, it's not just vitamin C. They do this with niacin, uh, thiamine, a variety of nutrients, high dose and their benefits. The right molecule for the right dose, for the right disease, orthomolecular medicine. Now, again, in review, five to 10 milligrams of C will prevent uh, scurvy. Light, little dose. We're not talking about that. I want you to consider taking four grams a day, six grams a day, eight grams a day. That's for a normal day without a disease, without a problem that emerges. But when that disease emerges, your body needs more, just like the goat who makes many, many grams, 50, 60, 70 grams of vitamin C a day. How do we determine the dose? Your body will accept more vitamin C when you're ill. When you are healthy, as little as 10 to, gram, 10 to 12 grams of vitamin C a day will begin a gurgling process in your intestines. I'm not talking about diarrhea. I'm talking about a little gurgle. When you notice that gurgle, you are at your bowel tolerance dose. How do you find that? Take a gram every hour on a normal day until you hit 8, 10, 12, 14 grams. Whatever it is for you, you will notice the gurgle. That's your bowel tolerance dose. When you become sick, you start with that 12 grams, not all at once, but two every hour, two every hour, two every hour, and you will find your bowel tolerance will go up to 20 grams, 25 grams, and your illness will be shortened. So we have our daily dose. Find out what your bowel tolerance is. You do that with a gram every hour. Find out what that is. Then when you become ill, you know where to start and you increase up to whatever that disease requires. Keep taking it till you're better or the gurgling returns with the disease. Is that making sense? Because it can be confusing. Find your bowel tolerance, increase it when you're ill. Okay, that should help us. Now, if all of that's too difficult, just take a couple grams of vitamin C four times a day. Just do that. Almost everyone can tolerate that. And when you become sick, take three or four grams every four to six hours. It's not that hard to do. One gram, four, four, two, two grams every uh, six hours or so, or four times a day. That's the hardest part is remembering to do it. But once you get in the habit, you should do this. It's not so hard. Now that's the oral. When we're really in trouble, say we've been diagnosed with cancer or we have multiple sclerosis, many people have learned that you can take extraordinarily high doses intravenously or intramuscularly, an injection into the muscle. Here you can give 100 grams, 150 grams all at once. This has been done many times. It's been studied many, many times and proven safe. You know, in 60 years of the poison control centers, 60 years of keeping track of what poisons Americans, there has not been one, not one death from vitamin C. Not one. And the studies that correlate high vitamin C intake with kidney stone formation, when you look for dehydration or chronic water insufficiency, it's actually not enough water it's not the vitamin C causing the kidney stones. And that's a whole nother discussion, but 
you can trust me, it's because you're not drinking enough water if vitamin C is associated with your kidney stone. You're not drinking enough water. Now, before the break, I just want to mention some of the conditions that people are using vitamin C, higher doses for and getting help with. Viral infections, colds, flu, hepatitis, any type of virals. This is one of the major functions of higher dose vitamin C is to help you your immune system fight these viruses. Bacterial infections. The, the new studies show if you're in the hospital, critical care with sepsis, this is an infection throughout the bloodstream, you are more likely to survive, you are going to spend fewer days in intensive care, spend less money if you get high dose vitamin C with your antibiotics. Better outcomes. Lower. Uh, uh, Better remission rates with cancer. The new trend, I wish I had the time to discuss this, is high-dose vitamin C first, followed by one-third the chemo dose. One-third the chemo dose. Remarkable remission stories with high C, low chem, in cancer therapy. This is a new concept. We need more research on it, but the preliminary is very good. High C, low chem. Diabetes, liver disease, autoimmune disease, thermal burns, remarkable improvement, heat stroke, ulcers, corneal ulcers, glaucoma, snake bites, spider bites, bug bites, and their prevention even. Trauma, intensive care, critical care, surgery recovery, all of these have been studied thoroughly with high dose good effects. Pain from spinal stenosis, chronic pain, improved lung function in babies of mothers who smoke. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorders is helping kids. Reducing the side effects of immunization. Protecting the kidneys from x-ray, the whole body from x-ray, stress, anxiety, improved cognitive function. All of these things are responding to high dose vitamin C and you can do a lot orally. We don't all need IV vitamin C. Let's go to our break. We'll return for our wrap up in just a minute. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you tired all the time? Persistent fatigue along with shortness of breath, headaches, and unusual food cravings may all be a sign of anemia. Anyone may develop anemia, but toddlers, women in their reproductive years, and the elderly are most likely to become anemic. If you are diagnosed with anemia, it's important to understand why. Even mild anemia, untreated, can lead to serious illness. Your doctor will diagnose the type of anemia you have, how you develop the condition, and how to treat it. There are many forms. But not all types of anemia are treated with iron. In fact, taking extra iron when it is not needed may add to your health problems. Once you finish treatment, you must follow up with your physician. Anemia can recur. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. 
Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. is brought to you by Bio Innovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder on that BioNutrients vitamin C special, buy one, get one free, so don't miss it. So, Richard, there are a small group of people that probably shouldn't supplement with high-dose vitamin C. Let's talk about that. There's a a group of people who have a genetically inherited condition, glucose 6-phosphate deficiency syndrome. Uh, This is X-linked, meaning it's more common in men, and it is much more common in African descent and Mediterranean descent individuals. It's not a common thing, but it can happen. These folks can take oral vitamin C in general, and they can take several grams of it without any problem. But IV high dose, 50 grams, I wouldn't do that without the test. So most doctors who give IV vitamin C at high dose, they test for that vitamin deficiency. They should. That, that excuse me enzyme deficiency to make sure you don't have a problem but you can take even if you have that you can take a couple three grams without any trouble okay that's okay next is iron low overload we mentioned that if you are hemochromatosis you have to limit your vitamin c if you have kidney stones there's great controversy and your doctor will say you can't take vitamin c it'll cause your stone drink more water and you're not going to have a problem with it i wish i could go and explain all of that but We'll have to just accept that for now. Drink more water. Take your vitamin C. There are so many benefits. Drink more water. Now, there are many types of vitamin C available, and they all serve the function of scurvy prevention and providing uh, electron donors, antioxidant capacity, all of that. But some, in my humble opinion, are better. We like the bioflavonoid-containing natural source. We know without any doubt when you have bioflavonoids with your vitamin C, like from rose hip, orange peel, natural source, it makes vitamin C more powerful, more effective. You get more benefit. Plus, the natural source, ascorbic acid, ascorbic acid has both electrons. Cheaper versions of vitamin C, sodium ascorbate, it will do the job, but it only has one electron available. So natural source, by its nature, is twice as powerful. There's also ester C. My problem with ester C is there's not as much research on it as they want you to believe. Plus, every molecule has a calcium in it, and we are a calcium overloaded country. We get too much calcium. That's the facts. So. I want vitamin C, not calcium with it. But it works. You can do that. You can do it. There's uh, also a scorbyl palmitate. Uh, again, there's very little evidence, but it will prevent scurvy. We like the natural source vitamin C with the bioflavonoids. At least take an extra gram. You can at least do that. And after a while, you say, I do not have any trouble with that. I'm going to take four grams today. Two in the morning, two in the evening. Work it up. And when you start to gurgle, back off a little you're there you're at the dose you should maintain for your vitamin c i hope you see the light when it comes to vitamin c thank you for your kind attention see you tomorrow bye-bye thanks everyone we'll see you tomorrow bye-bye i remember the moment i'll never forget that moment that changed my life at that moment it hit me this is why i joined the guard we're soldiers always ready to protect our country but we've also got communities family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Next time on The Three, we welcome Dr. Carol Swain, who with one foot in politics and the other in TV, is not your typical conservative TV analyst, professor, or author. You have argued against reparations. You have criticized Black Black Lives Lives Matter. Matter. I mean, you called them Marxists. Once I became a Christian, I could not support a political party that endorsed